G'day kids, thanks for tuning in to another Aussie episode. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that way you won't miss out on any of the new videos we put out and it would certainly make my day. In the meantime, enjoy this video. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. Today, we're gonna to do some yard work. Now, who loves getting outside and helping in the yard? I bet you do. Following along behind Nan or Pop or Mum and Dad or any of the grown-ups really with your very own garden tools. Now, we're gonna focus on some grown-up garden tools. We've got some lawn mowers, we've got a hedger, we've got a lion trimmer or a whippersnipper or as some people call it, a weed eater, and we've also got a blower or a leaf blower. Kids, it's gonna be so much fun, and today we're gonna to get started with some lawn mowing. Let's get stuck in. Today we've got two different types of lawn mowers. They're both Ryobi, they're both bright green and black, and they both look really cool. But there is one main difference between the two. This one here runs on petrol power. This one here is electric or battery power. Now with the electric one, the battery one, that's where it gets its power. So you just plug that into the wall, and once that's full, pop it back in there, and she's good to go. Now there are a few other differences, but all push mowers pretty much have the same parts. So let's have a look at some of those. Now this big black thing here, that's called the deck. And on top of the deck sits the engine. Now when we're mowing the lawn, the deck can go high or low to cut the grass shorter or longer. Now to control that height, over here we have a height adjuster. So if you just push that all the way down, we're gonna cut the grass really short. If you pull it all the way up, we're gonna cut the grass quite long. Then when you're cutting the grass, the blade is under here and it cuts the grass and all the off-cut grass comes into here. This is called the catch. Then when the catch is full, just take it off like that and dump that into the rubbish bin. Now with this electric mower, the way to start it is by pushing this button in and holding this down just like this. Now that that's off, I'm gonna show you underneath the lawnmower. So we flip it on its side. Now remember I said the engine's up here. The engine drives this thing here, and that's the blade. And when it drives it, when it's on, it spins around really, really quick. And when that spins around, it's gonna chomp through that grass and spit it out into the catch. That is the electric mower. Then kids, we have the petrol mower. Now before we start using the petrol mower, we need to make sure it's full of petrol or gas. That's right. And that's kept in here. So we're just gonna unscrew the lid and you can just look in there and I can see that it's got a little bit of petrol, but it's gonna need some more. So lucky, I've got one of these things, which is called a jerry can and that's full of petrol. So you pull this little bit out and just really carefully and usually, this is done by an adult, kids. And you just pour the petrol in, just like that. Okay, so once you've got enough petrol in here, pop that lid back on there, and then always make sure you put this guy back on here and screw it on really tight. All right, there's one more thing you need to check. 
with the petrol lawn mower and that's called the oil. So over here, we have a little oil cap which we can screw off just like that and it's got a little dipstick on the end of it. It's got a H for high and an L for low. And you can see that the level of the oil is sitting on the H. So that's got lots and lots of oil. It's good to go, which means this lawnmower is ready to be used to chomp through some of this grass. Now when we're ready to start the lawnmower, a bit different to the electric one, we're gonna pull this lever down to where it says start. Then you need to use all your strength and you need to pull on this lever here. And that's how you start the petrol mower. When you want to stop it, you see what I just did there? Just pull that back to the stop position. Now, when you're using any of this equipment in the yard to do any of the yard work, you need to make sure that you remember safety first, of course. So, we're gonna put on some safety goggles and some ear protection. And then when you're using the hedger or the whipper snipper, it's also safe to use some gloves. You don't really need them for lawn mowing. But look at this yard, kids. It's looking a bit long. I think I'm ready to cut some grass. So come on, let's start with the electric one. Hey kids, that is the electric or the battery powered mower. It does a pretty sweet job, but let's have a crack at the petrol one.
There you go, kids. I think this grass is looking pretty good. What do you think? But I think we need to do something else. These edges need to be done, don't they? Let's go and get that whipper snipper and do those edges. Come on. Okay, kids, I'm gonna come and grab my whipper snipper over here. This one is battery operated. So this battery just slides in and out. Down here, we have the blades. We wanna make sure we keep our fingers and hands and everything well and truly clear of those while it's running. To get it started, all you need to do is press this and then pull up on the handle. Now we wanna make sure, just like with the lawnmower, that we've got our safety gear on. Protect our eyes, protect our ears, and protect our hands. And now we can start cutting. There you go kids, that's hot and sweaty work. Good thing I've got my sweatband. So we've done the lawns, we've done those edges, they're looking nice and neat, but we've made an almighty mess, haven't we? There's grass clippings and there's leaves everywhere. Now what are we gonna use to clean up these leaves? A leaf blower. So let's go and grab that and get all this cleaned up, come on. Okay kids, I've got my trusty leaf blower here. This one is also battery powered and it's the same battery that the whippersnipper used. So we can just take that, pop it in there. This is good to go. This one's pretty simple. All you do is press that button and off she goes. But let's protect our ears, shall we? So we'll put our ear muffs back on and we'll protect our eyes at the same time with our glasses. We're good to go.
So there you go, kids. That's the leaf blower. Things are looking pretty clean around here. The leaf blowing is one of my favorite things to do. It was always my favorite when I was a kid because it's really easy to do and you can't really get it wrong. It's very, very safe. So if you want to try one of these things at home with your grown up, leaf blower is the way to go. And you know the best thing about it? It means you're almost finished. Now there is one more piece of equipment that I had over there. And that was, do you remember? It was a hedge trimmer, wasn't it? There's a mighty big hedge over there and needs a lot of trimming. So come on, come and help me with the hedge trimming. Let's go. All right, kids. The next thing up is our hedge trimmer or our hedger. Now this guy uses the same battery as the whippersnipper and the blower. Pretty handy, hey? Just pop that on there. That's good to go. Now this is a very important part of this hedge trimmer. That's because it protects you from cutting yourself on the blades. This is a tool that should only be used by grown-ups. Now the safety feature is this little button here, or this big button here. You grab that and then you press these two buttons. And just like that, these things go back and forth really, really fast and that's what chops through the hedges. So, safety first, of course. We're gonna put our ear protection and our eye protection on and also protect our hands. And then, we can start trimming this hedge. There you go kids, I reckon this hedge is looking pretty good and I reckon this whole yard is looking pretty amazing. Thanks so much for your help, thanks for joining me today. Remember when you're helping out in the yard with grown ups, maybe start with just your toys or even the blower, that's a really good one to start when you're a little kid. Kids, I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you've learnt lots and I hope that you've had lots of fun in the yard just like I have. We'll see you on our next video and until then, stay keen, I've got some leaves to rake up. Just like that, green
Hey kids, thanks for tuning in to another Aussie episode. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that way you won't miss out on any of the new videos we put out and it would certainly make my day. In the meantime, enjoy this video. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Aussie here. Now who loves chainsaws and big cranes, heavy machinery and lots of noise? Well I certainly do too kids. Now I know you're going to love this episode because today we've come along to this place and we're going to cut down a massive tree. It's a problem tree, it's in the wrong spot and it needs to come down. We've been called in for the big job. Now safety is very important kids when you're dealing with chainsaws and big machinery. So as Aussie always says, safety first. Let's get some safety gear on. We're going to need to have our safety glasses. We definitely need a safety helmet to protect our head. We need some earmuffs to protect our ears. They'll go on there in a second. And of course, we need a high-vis vest so that all our workmates can see us and know where we are. Now let's go and check out some of this awesome equipment that we're gonna to use today. Let's go. All right, kids, so we've got all our safety gear ready. Now check out some of the equipment that we're gonna to use today. Look at all these different sized chainsaws. Look at this little one. Hey, that's a cool one. We've got a big one here, and we've got a hedger here. We've got a little hammer. And check out this one. This one, this one's called a pole saw. And look how tall that is. That's like twice the size, maybe three times the size as Aussie. That is for reaching branches really high up the tree. What else do we have? Look at this. Safety as always kids, if anything goes wrong, if there's any flames or fires, we've got a fire extinguisher to put that out. We've got a blower over here, check out some of these ropes. Look how big, thick and strong that rope is. That is so that we can make sure that everyone's safe and we can get those branches from right up high. That's what these things are for too. You see what this one is? That's called a pulley. And a pulley is what you wrap the rope through so that you can lower those big, heavy branches from high up in the tree. Now take a step back. Look at what everything's sitting on. This is a massive crane or a cherry picker. And that arm goes right up high and someone gets to stand in that there, that bucket, and go super high up the tree and help cut down those branches. So that's the crane. Let's go and check out what else we can find. Oh! How good is that ax? Look at that. Oh, that looks sharp. Just gonna leave that one with the professionals, I think. Come on, let's go and see what else we can find. So the guys have already started. You can hear the noise in the background and see we've got some cones here and some signage just to let people know that this area, there's work happening. So you've got to make sure that if you come in here, you're protected, you've got your safety gear and you make sure you're doing things properly and safely. Now check out, they've got a big truck over here and this thing here, check this out. This is called a chipper, a wood chipper. And it's a bandit. How good is it? Come around this side. You can see all the trees, branches that have been cut down already, and they're sitting there ready to go in there. So when this machine gets turned on, that goes through there. It's amazing. It gets pulled in there, and it goes, gets chewed up, turned into bark, and it gets spat out this big pole here, this big thing here, and goes into the back of the truck. Turns it into wood chips. So this is a very important piece of machinery 
when you're doing any kind of tree removal. But it's also very, very dangerous. That's why it's got safety features. See these things here? We've got big emergency stop buttons. We've got these poles here to, you pull it this way to make it go, to make it stop. You pull it that way to make it reverse. And you've got this really important safety feature down here. That's what you can hit with your knee or your leg. So you go bang like that and that'll stop the machine straight away so that if anything's going wrong, you might get yourself in there. Quickly press that, boom, it'll stop. And everything's gonna be safe. All right, what else can we find? Kids, look at this, a little excavator. Wow. Tell you what, this is gonna make our job a whole lot easier today because those big branches that we can't actually pull out using our own physical strength, it's gonna grab the branches and drag them up there. So here's the excavator in action, kids. Look, it's got the grabber on the end. Just like in other Aussie videos, we've described the excavator different parts before. That's the grabber and see how he's grabbed that and he's just dragging that tree right up here. And that wood chipper can just take that whole tree branch and just munch it up and spit it out the other side. It's unbelievable. That tripper, that chipper can actually take 19 inch branches. So we're talking something like that big. You can just take it, the whole thing into that, chomps it up, spits it out. I'm gonna put my earmuffs on. Is that wood chipper? Look at that. Check this out. Just like that, kids, we had one man on one side and one man on the excavator working together to feed all those branches, the, th the little ones, the really big ones, and they all just went straight into the chipper, woo, straight out the other side. How good's that? Okay, so kids, this, this is the project for today. This is the big tree, and it's a beautiful tree, but it's in the wrong spot, and it's only gonna grow even taller, probably another 30 meters, and that's no good because all the houses around here are gonna be in danger if this thing grows too much taller. So it's gotta come down, unfortunately. So the guys are here doing all things very safely. You can see that all the branches have been taken down all the way up to where the man is, up the tree. How cool will that job be? Hanging up there in the tree, chopping down the branches. So you can see it takes a few people to make this happen. We've got a guy down here on the ropes. We've got a man up in the tree. And what he's doing up there is he's gonna wrap that rope around the branch put in a, in a special spot and then he's gonna chop the branch and then the man on the ground is gonna slowly lower that tree branch down, the excavator is gonna pick it up, then it goes to the, the chipper, gets fed into the machine and get taken away. And they do that step by step until they get all the branches down and then they take the big trunk. We're gonna see that a bit later. Just like that, 
branch by branch, the tree's slowly coming down. So see this thing over here, this is called a friction drum. And you see that Lucas fed the rope through that, and that is so that he can hold that super heavy branch, because if he was just holding the rope without that, he'd probably go up with the rope. It's too heavy. So this thing actually makes the branch a whole lot lighter, and he can just use his hands to feed that rope through carefully, and that branch will slowly come to the ground and safely. All right, so we've got Luke all the way up the tree there. Now, you might wonder how he got all the way up there. Well, he's not a koala. He didn't just climb it on his own. He did use a rope. Now, to get the very first rope up there, pretty amazing. You use this thing, right? And this is the other important piece of equipment. You pop this little ball thing inside here. This is the cannon. It's so noisy. So you pop this thing here, it's like a little like a little bean bag sort of thing. You pop it in here into the cannon, you pump up the cannon, you fill it with air, and you actually shoot it like a gun. It goes, whoo, shoots out the top, whoo, and if you've got really good aim, it'll go up and over a branch, it'll come back down, it'll come all the way to the ground, over the branch like that. Then, you can tie the rope to this side, you pull the other side up, and the rope goes up and over the branch, and then Luke, who's up the tree there, can clip himself into the rope and then climb that tree. And that's what's keeping him safe up there and that helps him get up there and do what he's doing. It's a very, very important job up the tree. All right, so once Luke's got that first rope up there, that becomes his rope that he secures himself too. Now, a couple of really important pieces of safety equipment for him that allow him to do his job is the harness. And that's what he clips that rope into. Then he's got some spikes to help him climb the tree. And he's got an ascender, a runner that he puts the rope through and that helps him basically walk up the tree. And that helps him climb and get all the way up there. Now that yellow rope becomes his safety device the whole time he's up the tree. To cut down a tree like this is a big job and it's a team effort. So to be the climber, the tree climber up the tree, that's Luke, it's a very specialised job. He needs to know how to climb the tree, he needs to know where to put the rope so that the branch falls the right way, and he needs to know how to cut. And if you have a look, you'll see him, he'll cut underneath, so it's an undercut, and then he'll cut on top, and that's so that when the branch falls off, it cuts cleanly and doesn't split, and it'll just fall nicely to the ground, and safely, of course. And then the other job, Lucas, he's the rope handler on the ground. That's a lot of skill and a lot of experience to make sure that that tree branch falls down in a safe area and doesn't hit any fences, any, any houses, any aerials. You can see that we're in a pretty tight space here. And Lucas is just getting him to land exactly where he wants him to land and that's all through control. And the other good thing for Lucas is he makes sure that the, the butt of the tree branch is facing that way. So the leaves are out the back and the butt is out the front so that then the excavator can just pick it up and feed it straight into the chipper. It's all very strategic, very clever, and a whole lot of teamwork. All right, so kids, this looks like a whole lot of fun. And I don't know, I reckon that'd be pretty good to be out there but if you want to become just like these guys and climb trees and learn how to cut them down properly to be a professional tree lopper, guess what it's called? It's called an arborist. So it's a very specialized skill that you need to do training for so you can become as good as these guys. No worries boys, I'll, I'll get this one. Yep. Yeah. Don't, I don't need the excavator. I'm good. I right, this one. Oh. 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 
I'm an arborist. So I've just got a piece of off cut of a branch here and you can smell the eucalyptus. This is a Sydney flooded gum eucalyptus tree and there is 736 different types of eucalyptus trees around Australia. How crazy is that? So, if you had a look up there kids, what he's done is cut this bit out of the tree. This is called a scarf. So he cuts this wedge out, so that then when he makes the cut, the final cut, the tree falls where this has gone out of. It's got that little gap, the scarf, and the tree, or the branch, or the, the bit of the top of the tree, falls down that way. Now that tree, without all the branches, is called a barrel. Now he's just going to work his way from the top all the way to the bottom until that tree is nothing but a stump in the ground. So with all that sawdust falling around us, that's why it's very, very important to have our safety glasses on. And did you see how hard that log hit the ground? That's why it's very important to keep our distance back here, because if one of those logs hits one of the other ones on the ground, it could ricochet up, send wood flying everywhere. And if you have a look on the fence here, it sent mud flying everywhere. So safety glasses, very, very important. So I've just seen Luke come down, he's finally finished up the tree, he doesn't need to be up there anymore, he's finished all these cuts. The last cut that needs to be done is from the ground, so we're just going to do one big cut down here, pull the tree stump over that way, and then we're going to take those bits of the tree, send them into the chipper, into the truck, into wood chips, and then we're done. So Luke's finished the last cut down here and we see the excavators had the, had the rope on the end of it. That's because this is a really, really heavy part of the tree. So too, too heavy for three people to pull. The excavator had the rope and that was pulling it backwards so that it knew exactly where it needed to go. It just guided that tree right down into the gap and the excavator can come pick it up and take it over. Chop it up and we'll be done. That's 
Oh, they need an excavator. Is there any more cuts? Are you done? We're done. We're done, I'm too late to the party. I was gonna have a go, kids, but no. I've left it to the professionals. This is a very dangerous piece of equipment, all of these chainsaws. That's why you've gotta be qualified and you leave these guys to do the job, not for Aussie. But I'll just show you these things here. These are the blades and this is the motor. And then you start it by pulling that, okay? And then you press the lever here. You gotta press this one down on the top, press that one. And that's what makes this chain go round and round, or the blade, and that's what spins really, really fast. The motor makes a whole lot of noise, and when that spins really fast, it just cuts straight through the wood. Small one for the nice small branches all the way up the tree, and the big long ones for those big chunky sections of the tree. How much fun are these things? I feel like I want to go and become an arborist. What do you reckon, kids? Good fun, eh? So the crew have finished ch chopping this tree down. Remember how tall it was? It was all the way up there, and now it's all the way down here. But that's the job done for these guys. Now another crew will come in, and they'll grind that stump and get it really low, get rid of it, and this tree will be gone. But let's go and have a look at that chipper. Let's go. Look at the size. That branch. Look at the size of that tree. Look at that chipper can fit the whole thing inside. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It's like this big. It's just gonna uh, crazy. So the guys have packed up all the equipment, we've cleaned up all that tree, that huge big tree has been chipped and it's in the back of that truck and that gets used to spread around council land. So nothing gets wasted here, how cool is that? So there you go kids, I'm standing right here where this big tree used to be, standing about 30 or 40 metres right up into the sky. It had to come down because of safety reasons, but I was here today with TreeServe taking us through the process of how to cut this tree down from top to bottom using the chainsaws, the chipper, the excavator, and a whole lot of skill. Kids, I hope you've loved this episode today. It's been super fun. We'll see you on another episode of Aussie very soon. And until then, stay keen.
Hey kids and grown-ups, if you are loving watching and learning with Aussie, it would be amazing if you could please do me a really big favour and just tell anybody else that you think might enjoy it too. In the meantime, enjoy this brand new episode, and as always, stay keen. Aussie, 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 oi! Aussie is a friend of yours, and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. Now I am just a little bit excited today. I am in my happy place because we've come along to prompt mowers and we're gonna learn all about lawn mowers. But not just your push lawn mowers, we're gonna go straight to the big bad boys, the right on lawn mowers. I'm super keen kids, come and check these out. Let's go. So kids, we've got three different types of lawn mowers to talk about today. We've got more of your traditional type here. This is a ride-on mower, or otherwise known as a lawn tractor. The one in the middle, that's a zero turn. And then the one down the end, that's a rear engine or a front cutter. So let's start with this lawn mower, kids. I reckon this one's gonna be one of my favorites. Can you guess why? That's right, it's green and gold, just like Aussie. So this is a John Deere ride-on lawn mower, or a lawn tractor. Check this out. This is the chute, so when the grass is cutting, the grass is going to come out the chute. Got a nice yellow seat. It looks comfy, doesn't it? If we lift that up, see that there? That's where the petrol goes. We've got this lever over here. Can you see that? That controls the deck height. It goes up and down. Just like that. All right, this one here, that's a brake. So when you're not driving it, and you don't want it to roll anywhere, you've got to make sure you put the brake on. But check this out. This is where the engine is. I can open it up and have a look inside. Oh, look at that, kids. So that's the engine. That's what's going to drive this thing. It goes pretty fast, and that's the battery. That's how you start it. Just close that one back up again. But let's jump on, shall we? So you just sit up here when you're driving it, and it's a steering wheel just like a car. Okay, then you've got a, a lever here. Push it forward to go a little bit faster. Can you see the picture down here? It's a picture of a hare and a tortoise. Which one do you think is going to go faster? That's right, the hare is going to be faster. You push it forward, make that engine spin faster, and then the tortoise will make it go a little bit slower. All right, that's pretty much everything. Should we fire it up and go for a drive? Let's do it, kids. So that kids, that's a right on lawnmower. How much fun is that? Let's go and check out the zero turn. So kids, this is a zero turn. So what looks different to you? Well, it's red, of course. So does that make it go faster maybe? I don't know, maybe. But is there a steering wheel on this one? No, that's right, there's no steering wheel. That's because you steer using these things. These cool levers here. Everything else looks pretty similar, but there's no engine on the front. Is there? There's an engine on the front on that one, but the engine is on the back. Come check it out. So we've got the engine sitting on the back of this one. But other than that, you've got the chute that comes out the side. You've got the deck underneath. That's what cuts the grass. It does look a little bit bigger, doesn't it? So that's because the blades are bigger. So it's probably going to cut a little bit more grass. And it is going to go a little bit faster. Not because it's red, but that's because it's got a bigger engine. 
but let's jump on and check out how it goes. Okay kids, so there's no steering wheel on this guy. That's because this is essentially a steering wheel. So when you want to go forward, you push it forward. When you want to go backwards, you push it backwards. But these things move individually like that because this one on the right controls the right rear wheel. This one on the left controls the left rear wheel. And that's why it's called a zero turn because if you push them in opposite directions, you can do super quick turns on the spot in a zero spot. Zero turn, that makes sense? All right. You've got some other controls down here. You've got the park brake. You've got that hair and the tortoise again. So that's forwards and backwards to make the engine rev and spin quicker. Okay, you've got the choke here. You need to have the choke on to start it. And you need to have these guys open to start too. You've got a pedal down here and that controls the deck height. So up and down, how short or how long you want the grass. All right, I think we're ready to give this thing a go. Should we try and start it? Let's go, kid. That is a whole lot of fun. Kids, you see those tight little circles I was doing? That's because of the way it drives. And that's the difference between this one and the ride-on mower or the lawn tractor. Let's go and check out this one over here. This one is the rear engine or the front cutter. Let's check out the differences on this one. So when you turn the steering wheel, it's the back wheels that turn. And that makes it really good for getting in around tight places like trees and stuff. Now this is where the engine is. Come check this out. So the engine sits at the back, so behind where the driver sits, which is really good because all the noise and the heat and all the smoke comes out the back. So it's a bit more comfortable to drive. So we've got this um, lever here, and check that out. That controls the deck height. And with the deck, the cutting deck at the front, it means you can get in under bushes, so you can drive in and cut under shrubs and bushes and stuff. You've also got the blade height here, so how close you're cutting the grass. And you've got the other controls here. You've got that hair and tortoise again, and you've also got the start and stop switch there. Come around here, you've got, that's where the petrol goes, or the fuel. And you check out, this is where the um, cutting deck is, but you can see that there's no chute. So with no chute, the grass has nowhere to go, so the grass goes back through the blades and gets cut again. So it's like mulching it, as well as cutting it, and it doesn't leave a big spread of grass in its trail. So come on, let's check it out, what it's like when we start it. We've got the foot brake here, and we've got an accelerator to go forward, and this pedal is to go backwards. Let's start it up and see how we go. <laughs> Ooh, I like the sound of this one. All right, we'll take the foot brake off. Get those wheels. So you can see how it like turns in the middle. All right, let's go for a little spin. Kids, 
That's three different types of ride-on mowers. Which one's your favourite? Yeah? We've got the ride-on mower down the end there, which is also known as a lawn tractor. We've got the zero turn. We've got this one that we're sitting on here, which is the rear engine or the front cutter. Yeah, I quite like the green and gold. I quite like how fast the zero turn is, but I reckon this guy would be pretty fun to cut some grass in. So kids, what do you reckon we should do right now? Let's go do what lawn mowers do best. Let's cut some grass. All right, we're gonna engage. There you go kids, how much fun is it when you get to cut the grass on a ride-on lawnmower just like this. I hope you've learned lots about ride-on lawnmowers. I hope you've had lots of fun today. I certainly have. We'll see you on our next video. Until then, stay keen. Hey kids, did you have lots of fun today watching Aussie? I hope so. Did you know that we've got a heap of Aussie episodes on our YouTube channel? If you haven't already, go back and have a scroll through. I reckon you'll find some others that you absolutely love. And while you're there, why don't you hit subscribe? That way you won't miss out on any of our new videos that we bring out. We'll see you again soon, kids. Until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right, stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 oi.
Cause he is a friend of yours and he's a friend of